Hello Cancer ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, okay? So Cancer, what I like to do is to give you your February's reading, okay? And I've decided to utilize my tea leaf cards here in order to convey your message, all right? Now, Cancer, we're not going to focus on one specific area, okay? I'm just going to share with you whatever it is that Spirit would like you to know during this time period in question, okay? Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that many of you are in fact, seek it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, here I am shuffling up my tea cards here. And I'm just going to ask Spirit, what messages do you need to hear or does cancer need to hear for their highest good? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select 25 cards here from this stack. And try to weave together a coherent story so that you guys could understand, all right? And if this reading resonates with you guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit and be sure to press that subscription button, okay? So let's go on and get started, okay? We have, right off the bat, the funnel here. So it looks like Cancer... This month is certainly is, is going to bring about a period of frustration. And it seems that you're going to be learning lessons, karmic type lessons. Okay? There are also with this axe energy here, forces that, that appear to be working against you here. It seems that not only karma is at play, destiny is also at play. So you might want to just take your hands off your situation, you know? And you have the grasshopper next, and that shows that, you know, situations that you are going through at this time, they require very careful handling here so that you won't make um, a haphazard um, decision here. And as sad I would, I, I hate to mention this to you guys, but I'm also feeling a strong feeling that someone is about to either past or or they're going to leave your life here because you have not only the casket here with someone going out of your life or the end of a situation it could be also a business or romantic situation but usually because you have this wreath card here it looks like someone i'm kind of getting a, a an indication that you might lose a loved one or someone close here but certainly i'm seeing some sorrow over a painful loss that's going to occur to, um, to you guys this month. Okay. I also feel too that all of the problems that you've been going through, you know, it seems like those problems have been affecting your health. And the cane here is indicating that you might want to pay a bit more attention to your health, ladies and gentlemen, because I see Mitch, some of you either uh, catching COVID perhaps or just catching. The flu, I'm seeing something with, with, with you getting sick here if you don't kind of heed the warning that these cards are saying here. I also feel, ladies and gentlemen, that you guys, you have, you are focused a bit too much or you will be this month too much on, or you, on sex. You're too concerned and absorbed about having sex or just sex in general here because you have that rabbit energy, Okay. I also feel that someone with whom you're dealing is extremely stubborn and they're unwilling to change. And you have to understand you can't change people. You have to accept people for whatever, for whomever he or she is. And if you certainly like, don't like the picture, change it. You don't have to involve yourself in a situation where it's not working for you. Next message here. Divine is telling you too that you know, if you need help, try to seek out the information that might help you here. I'm kind of feeling, too, that you guys have a a, a very fervent, fervent wish that you like to materialize this month. And Spirit is saying, uh-uh, you have this broken wishbone here. So 
some wish that you want to kind of come true within this time frame is not going to be granted at this time here. So, again, apply the energies to your situations, Cancer. Keep in mind if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button, okay? But just understand, Cancer, that this storm certainly is not going to last that long because Spirit is saying that you are just like the fox here. You are very shrewd. You're very resourceful. And opposition is not going to get in your way here, especially when it comes to business matters. And each of you is very, very intuitive. Continue to use your psychic ability because it certainly will never lead you astray. Trust your intuition, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm seeing, too, that it's, a, it's, it's quite plausible that you guys are going to meet a total new stranger here. And that stranger is going to be very important. And I feel that that person is going to be important to you um, in business matters. I'm kind of getting, okay? Spirit is assuring you that guaranteed success is certainly near for you with this star. And then you have the four clover energy here. So that's further emphasizing the fact that good fortune is near despite whatever challenges that you guys are up against. Okay. Good news is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if the cards will give us some indication of what that good news might be here. Okay, we have again to further emphasize that news is on the way here. Well, certainly the news might be you rising to a, a higher position of authority. Again, the reading did say that you have a very good business acumen and you are going to be very successful when it comes to business or something that you're probably doing, you know, as an entrepreneur. But whatever it is, you are going to be rising to a, a position of authority here. Okay, and great happiness is going to come as a result. Okay, I also see for some of you, you're also going to be relocating or moving to a new home and, and just embracing new opportunities and hence a new you, right? I also see too that it looks like that this is probably going to come to you around Valentine's Day. I see this box energy here. It seems that you're going to receive some type of a gift here, you know? And it could be, ladies and gentlemen, gift of jewelry here. Or maybe you may give, might give someone a gift of jewelry. Okay? Just understand that Spirit wants you to really know here. Because once you, when you see this eagle card here, it shows you that you're going to surmount all your problems. Okay? Triumph over troubles as well as obstacles here. I'm also seeing a lot of you contemplating or either going on some type of vacation very soon. It could be this month here. And it seems that you're going to be going with someone who will offer you the spiritual love that your heart deserves or just you're just going to be feeling a connection with someone soon. I'm kind of getting if you're not already. Okay. So, Cancer. This is what I have in regards to your tea leaf reading, okay? I'm sorry to, to have been the barrier of bad news here by just telling you that you might lose someone. But, of course, that's a part of life, Cancer. So, with that said, I'm going to go on and just shuffle up the cards here. Another oracle, well, an oracle deck here to give you some indication on things that you might consider surrendering or transforming moving forward. Now, Cancer, I presently have a $15 off coupon displayed on my website with which you could use to apply to any of the readings shown there. Or you could we could customize the reading, less that discount, based on whatever requests you might have, okay? So, Spirit, give me six more closing messages here to share with Cancer in regards to things that they might consider surrendering or transforming moving forward here. Okay, to just make them a better person. All right, let's see what we have, Cancer. Ooh. Well, Cancer, it's certainly time that you surrender to setting appropriate limits. Understand that it's certainly healthy to set boundaries in any given relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no 
is indeed a complete sentence. The power of no. <laughs> Next message. It's time that you surrender to play. And it seems that you are going to be doing this, you know, because while the first few weeks of this month is going to be a little frustrating for you, things are going to improve for you, Cancer. So Spirit wants you to surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal or just worrying, pretty much. Do something fun. Understand that play is certainly a time of recreation as well as a time of rejuvenation. It's time that you make some effort to surrender negative thinking. You certainly have control over your own thoughts. And when negative thoughts surface, say, Thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on a more positive affirmation. Next message, Cancer. It's time that you surrender to receiving support and love here because it seems that people around you do want to help, but it seems that your pride perhaps gets in the way. Gets in the way, okay? So, Spirit wants you to consider allowing the love and support of others and rather than trying to always handle everything by yourself. Understand that this certainly can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Next message, Cancer. Hey, we've been saying this throughout the reading, surrendering worry. And with surrendering worry, it comes also with your need to surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. And last message today, Cancer. It's time that you surrender frustration, okay? Understand that frustration certainly does not open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a break, breath. Center yourself and regroup so that you make approach the situation a bit more calmly. Now, Cancer, this is the reading that I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Again, please like and share, subscribe. And should anyone wishes to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly scoot over to my website to purchase or to schedule there. Okay, bye for now.